Hello everyone, and welcome to our ECM Lawrence forecast on February 18th, 2024. So again, it's Sunday, so we're doing our long range ECM updates. This gets us to Monday, April 1st this time, into April. Uh, so going from mid-February to early April, basically, with the pressure, temperature, and precip anomalies. So the week one pressure anomaly is February 19th to February, to February 26th, tomorrow till next Monday. So we have a deep trough to our north, shown by these deep blue colours, set it between Iceland and Scotland, and a ridge around the Azores um, that's pulled away towards the central Atlantic. Um, and around the trough, we bring in the wind from um, an increasingly cooler direction from northwest, from Greenland, especially towards the end of the week. But we'll start the week very, very mild. So the, the temperature anomaly is above average by about one degree in the east and south, and an average in the west and north. Um, starting off very mild with above average temperatures in the early part of the week, but I say that they'll be colder than average into the the um, second half of the week. Notice that to our east is very mild or even warm towards Scandinavia, Finland, Western Russia, down into Eastern Europe, um, the Baltic Sea, also through Central Europe and down into Southeast Europe, also to Turkey as well. So very mild scene. Um, this big ridge over over Russia pumping up these uh, long fetch southerly winds there. And the precip anomaly is above average thoroughly, so a wet week to come. So week two is February 26th to March 4th. So this one has some cold potential. We have a ridge around the Azores in the mid-Atlantic, also a trough from Greenland, Iceland, down through Ireland, the UK, into western parts of Scandinavia possibly, and also down through down through Central and Western Europe, and off into Africa and the Mediterranean. Um, so you probably bring in quite a cold wind from the northwest, also that be showery, and some wintry showers might also fall, and that probably also be very, very, very mild again for the east of Europe. This big high over um, over Russia, dragging up these long fetch southerly winds um, from Africa. So the temperature anomaly for week two is coolest in Western Europe. So again, Ireland, the UK, are about average, a bit cooler than average possibly. Same for Iberia and France and, and parts of Africa. But look at the east of Europe exceptionally mild, like up to eight degrees above average in those deepest crimson colours. And the precip anomaly for week two is wet to the east, dry to the west. So probably a northerly airflow. Um it's possibly quite likely here. Week three pressure anomaly is Monday, March 4th to Monday, March 11th. Um so we have a ridge in over Canada, off into um the Atlantic here. Uh, a trough towards us in Greenland, down into Scotland, also a big ridge in from Russia into Eastern Europe. So it would keep the very, very mild conditions going, where it is very mild already, um, in the east of Europe and in the and in the in those central areas of Europe. Um, that might just be a trough between the ridges. Um, this this whole area here over over Western Europe. Or it could just be quite a uh, westerly pattern there. The temperature anomaly is is very slightly above average by about one degree, and the precip anomaly is above average with rainfall. So therefore, I'd say that it's just a trough between the ridges. Um, week four is Monday, March eleventh to Monday, March eighteenth. Um, changes. So we see a block from Greenland down towards the North Atlantic and Iceland. Also extending towards Svalbard, probably up here, and down into northern Scandinavia, and off into Russia. So there's probably a trough under it over Europe somewhere. Probably quite an easterly week. Um, though I don't know how seriously we, we can take this, considering that the ECM showed blocking for this time, like for today, two weeks ago. So I don't know how that might verify or not. So here is the temperature anomaly, about average really, and the precip anomaly is above average to our south, 
and blows around north. So I think it's quite an easterly month, possibly. An easterly week, even, um, in that week. So week five is Monday, March 18th to Monday, March 25th. Um, so blocking towards Canada, Greenland, Iceland, north of Scandinavia, up into Russia, uh, a trough around the Azores, extending towards Ireland. That's probably a mild and quite wet week. The temperature anomaly is around average, and the precip anomaly is above average, is above average to our south and below to our north. So, um, just given this anomaly, just like the lowers, like in this sort of line here, where, where the mouse is, so we, we're either this low is centered towards here, dragging up the wind from southwest, or the low is extending towards Europe and actually putting in an easterly wind. There are two scenarios for this. Um, also, bear in mind, temperature anomaly is around average only. You'd think that if we had a southwesterly flow, that would be above average, but who knows. Week 6 is Monday, March 25th to Monday, April 1st. Here we go. So basically, um, no change on week 3, really. Blocking to our north, or was green in Iceland. It weakens to our northeast, though. Also, a ridge forms towards Eastern Europe. Also, a trough from the Azores towards Ireland and the UK. That's easterly, southeasterly, southerly, and probably quite unsettled. Week 6, temperature anomaly. It's about average only, so it could be a bit easterly. And the week 6 precip anomaly is above average, um, especially to our south and east. So, um, week 1 is this week. Starts off um, very unsettled, getting cooler as, as we go through. Week 2 gets possibly colder. Uh, week 3, week 4. I have some blocking involved, also some low pressure involved, but I'd say it'll probably be quite a wet period with some cooler spells. Same for weeks five and six. Weeks five, weeks five and six are a bit mysterious in the fact that um, you'd think that this low would provide above average temperatures in, in, that, in that position during winds up from the south. Yet the model shows average temperatures. And you might know that the models love forecasting above average temperatures. Bit of a mystery there, but um, given that it's five weeks out, probably not really worth worrying about just yet. So everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you later on, and bye for now.